Okay, so right now you join me driving through the centre of Leyland, my hometown, this is where I live, and I wanted to try something completely different. Um, I've been, I've become quite fond of a YouTuber who does a lot of stealth camping, and he did one on a roundabout, I'm thinking, I wonder if I could get away with that too. So, it does tie, it does tie in with all the other stuff we do, uh, but this is the roundabout in question we're approaching right now, let's circle this down. This is a really nice, well-kept roundabout, and I'm seeing a hell of a lot of gaps in there. I don't even know if we're going to be able to camp on that. I think we're going to need quite a bit of camo netting. Definitely going to need camo netting. And I'm going to be sick if we get going around this roundabout. So that's the first time I've actually looked at the roundabout. Um, I've driven around the roundabout a million times. I've never actually looked in it, but that that gives me confidence that people aren't going to be looking in it to, to see us. So uh, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to see if Flex wants to do it. I don't know if he's going to be down for it. It's going to be probably one of the strangest requests I've uh, I've uh, asked him for. But we'll see what he says. This is the roundabout we will be sleeping on tonight. Um, looking in, it looks pretty good. I mean, I think we should be pretty well hidden once we get the camo net set up, that is. Okay, guys, right, so me and Flex have been talking. We've actually become fan. We're fanboying, right? Oh, yeah. We're fanboying. Oh. Flex is here. Massive. We're, fan we're fanboying over a guy, Canadian guy who does camping videos. And I've, we've both been sat there watching all these videos um, and I've decided that I wanted to do some more stealth camping. Now we do a lot of haunted camping and abandoned camping, we've done a lot of that over the past year. Um, now I want to start doing some uh, stealth camping in unusual places. And the best thing I could think of tonight spontaneously was this roundabout. <laughs> this is a very, very pretty roundabout in terms of roundabouts this is a nice one very well kept a um, lot of leafage and, and foliage and, and bushes and stuff around but we cannot have a campfire because we stealth camping you've got to make it look like you was never there so there'll be no fire tonight um, plus it's like I said very well kept so we've got to keep this roundabout looking nice because we do have Christmas Christmas decorations that go on this they'll be going up anytime it is November the 3rd so it's getting pretty cold it's set to hit two degrees tonight which I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit but um, yeah that's what we're doing tonight so we're going to try and stealth our way inside the roundabout. It's very busy still. As you can see, we'll turn this light out. There's uh, still cars passing around the roundabout constantly. So we're going to have to figure out a way to get onto the roundabout without being seen. Um, but, Flex, yeah. a, a, a fantastic note is if we get too cold, there is a McDonald's next door. Yeah, McDonald's next door. We will be um, cooking our own food. Um, I will say this is an Italian dish. It's going to be very nice. But we don't have any hot drinks. So we might just about 3 o'clock in the morning when it gets really cold. Nip over and grab ourselves a nice coffee from uh, McDonald's. So the good thing about this is we can park within 50 meters of the roundabout. Um, I'm just going to leave the car here on this uh, car park. The parking ward normally comes around about uh, 8 a.m which by that time uh, the sun rises here in the UK in November I think it's scheduled to rise at quarter past seven in the morning so yeah we've got, we've got some time to get back to the car before we get a parking ticket and this is some of the equipment that we're going to be taking obviously we've got a bag of goodies from Tesco's um, 
I'm going to be making tortellinis with uh, cheese and ham in a creamy tomato and herb Tesco sauce. So, yeah, with some salt and pepper as well. It's, ah. going, to, it's going to be pretty good. Um, oh, and we got some uh, garlic baguette things to grill as well. Mm. Um, I have got a ghillie suit actually as well. Uh, I'm not going to take this one. This one's a very, um, a very detailed ghillie suit, which is multiple pieces. I've got a separate ghillie suit, suit that I'm not going to wear. We're actually going to use it as camouflage netting. Our tents obviously are very cheap, nasty Amazon tents, but they are camouflaged. Um, we're going to be using them for the time being. The way we're going to do this is um, I'm going to try and build channel members. Uh, channel members is a thing you can have on YouTube where you get a special badge next to your name and you get special perks and special emojis that no one else can use but the money that we get from the channel members we're going to buy new equipment and you will see people like this featured on the screen who has bought who has donated towards and uh, we picked up some equipment because of those guys So the good thing is, the car is just literally there. Yeah, but the other good thing is McDonald's is just there as well. Yeah. We've just got to get across this road. Not too bad. Yeah, it's quieting down a little bit. Now would be a perfect time to get in there. There's people behind us, so just be careful, no one sees us. How can you be careful, can you to come <laughs> <laughs> That's the only issue there, right there, bro. You yeah. can see directly through to the other side of the roundabout yeah, from that alleyway, so we have to cover that with the camo. That's a slight issue though. Well, there's a camera right above us. Right, let's hold on, hold on. It, hold on, bro. It's circling round. It's not looking down. Oh. It's not looking down, so I think we're all good. Yeah. It's wide open. Well, that's wide open there. This is the best bet here. <laughs> it's so. This here. How are we going to do this? Right, come on, let's get out of sight. Right, okay, so as you can see, very, very open, and this is a bit too dense to even get inside. So we're actually going to set camp here. We've got a CCTV camera uh, pole there. This is the only uh, section where we're pretty much covered here. We've got this gap here, but we're going to put a camo, camo uh, sheet across there. And then we'll back our tent, one of our tents facing this way. We should be concealed, I hope. But this is a lot more open than, uh, than I uh, imagined. And we got a beautiful moon there. We're approaching a full moon. Only five or six days away, maybe seven. The only issue is we're here. It's all mud, there's no grass. It's just a bit shitty.
Okay, well, it seems like we figured the situation out from this side. Now we're going to figure out the other side, but as you can hear, super busy roundabout here in the centre of Leyland, my hometown. But that's going to help a lot because you can see here, it turns the light out first. I've got it really dim. But look at this big open bit here. And there's a little micro bar there as well, so people will be stumbling out of that in a few hours' time. Okay, well, now we need to get the tents up. We need to strategically put them in a place where we're going to blend in a bit because right now traffic approaching from this end can clearly see us. This is uh, harder than I imagined. Mine, but I once had one for six months trying to sell it to someone. Got a problem here. This tent's damaged. Damaged? Yeah. Um, the part where the pole goes through at the top is all ripped off. It'll work. There's a big hole in the top of the road. Okay, so got the tent set up, we haven't been spotted yet. Got the camouflage net there. These two tents are camouflage, but again, they're super cheap tents. Um, got a trusty stove with me tonight, um, frying pan, you know, uh, also got, got a nice bottle of beer as well, which uh, I'll have later on to battle the cold a little bit. But yeah. So far, so good. Okay, quick update. Um, we had the tents up for a bit. Decided we we're going to lie down in the tents for a little while. Let things uh, die down outside. But um, we have really cheap sleeping bags and tents, as you've seen in other videos. Um, and they were, they've been great throughout summer. But now it's two degrees. Um, November the 3rd, going into the 4th. It's, uh, it's cold and the whole bottom of the floor of the tent is wet, it's quite seeping through and uh, even the sides of the tent are wet. It's like I said, the, the tent was £20 off Amazon, the sleeping bag was like £12 off Amazon. So um, I try not to do, I try not to do sponsored uh, segments in these videos, I'm trying to, to stay away a little bit. Um, so if anyone wants to help out, I do have an Amazon wish list where you can pick up bits. Instead of donating, you can pick up bits. You can pick up bits for our camping trips. Uh, example like sleeping bags, tents, even stoves and cookers, hand warmers. I put a bunch of stuff on a watch list. And uh, yeah, super appreciate. 
anything. Every little helps. Okay, so we're going to take this uh, spare time to to exit the roundabout because it's been quiet now for about an hour. We're going to go off the roundabout. We're going to have a walk around and see how visible the tents are, especially with the camo netting up because I'm super curious. Okay, you ready, Flex? I'm ready. Yeah. So um, it's two degrees right now, and there's a real dampness in the air. Real dampness in the air, and everything's gotten wet. Like I said, we need better equipment. But yeah, um, you can't see, you can't see anything. Oh, that's so well done. We'll have to go and have a look on the other side too. Yeah, so as you look straight through there to the left is where the tents are. It's definitely getting much quieter out here now. I was super concerned um, when I was in there at one point because when I was off camera I could hear someone walking around um, on the outside but I think they came from that pub. It sounded like they slowed down at one point. <laughs> Just expect some drunk person to walk through. We're coming up on the roundabout now, I'll show you. We're very well blended in. So you can... No, you can't see the tents from here. They're pretty much to the left as you look through that gap. So we do still have a bar open there. Doesn't seem too busy. Oh look, see, look how well that blends in. It is so well. You can't really see them at all. That camouflage netting is brilliant. I'm actually shocked how well that is. I'm gonna have to buy some more. That's just a cheap ghillie suit. I think that cost me like 25 pounds. Um, definitely be buying more of those. Right, so guys, this is what we're dealing with at the moment. It's actually frozen. It's actually frozen. Look at that. The ice. That's how cold it is right now. It's one degrees. Um, and these tents are not built for this at all. It is super, super cold. We're going to make food soon. Let's crack that pasta on. Okay, so a little bit unconventional, but... We've had to uh, defrost the tents with um, the stove. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, when we do Flex's tent in a second, but the whole tent steamed up as it was getting rid of the moisture and the ice off the tent. It's quite interesting to see. I've never seen that before. Uh, I didn't realise it was going to get this cold. Definitely wasn't equipped for this cold. Um, but yeah, lesson learned and uh, hopefully new equipment in the future. Right, okay, we're heading back in. But look at this, you can't even see as you walk in. So we've just been getting some thumbnails on the outside while there's no cars about. Um, definitely time to make that food now though, but look at this. You can just about start seeing them now. Really well blended in, very happy with that. Just not happy with the performance of these tents. Oh, I'm knocking everything over. Just not happy with the performance of the tents. Uh, very cheap, like I said. First of all, we got these nice rosemary and sea salt. Basically, like mini ciabattas. Definitely smell the rosemary. <laughs> oh, that's all rubbish back there. Yeah. It is very clean this roundabout though. Well I was about to say I was gonna go around and pick up any rubbish that was on the roundabout as well, but you know what? I haven't seen a single piece of rubbish. This is a very well kept roundabout, like I said. Start prepping this, get some water in it. We did get water in here. 
Yeah, I yeah. got a, got a bottle of water here. Bread's nice and fresh. We've got some nice heat from that stove. Yeah, it's nice. Got a rubbish bag going there. So um, I I left uh, Flex in charge of the flavour of tortellini and Flex's choice of the first ever tortellini is just standard cheese and tomato. So once the tortellinis are done, we add the sauce. I'm going to chuck some extra shredded ham and cheese in there just to uh, spice it up a bit because otherwise it can be a little bit bland-ish. Mm. Yeah, normally I would go for like a, a chorizo. Have I picked totally the wrong one? No, I think it's, it's, a, it's a good, safe choice. Mm. Um, but next time I shall pick yes. the Italian ham and shrimp chorizo. Let's do that. I can't. I, I honestly cannot stress how cold it is. Uh, right here, you're probably watching this all cozy, warm, snug. But yeah, it's cold. To be honest, though, when we say cold, it's cold for us. Mm. Like. In terms of like some people who do camping in snow and stuff, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like summer, but we get used to it. It's um, it's a new thing. Definitely get used to it. The thing is, we're used to having a, a fire, a campfire, a physical fire. There's a lot of heat. We can't do that. <coughs> Stealth. Well, do you know what? Do you know what the problem is? Is <laughs> we just come off a very hot summer. Yeah. Um, an extraordinarily hot summer. In fact, it was the hottest summer we've ever had on record since records began. We had 40 degrees in the UK, which has never been known before. Um, and this is actually our second coldest day so far of the year. Uh, yesterday, um, I woke up about 8 o'clock in the morning and it was slightly frozen outside. It was, it was 3 degrees and right now it's 2 degrees. So. It's the coldest day so far, so uh, we're not climatised to it <laughs> as such yet, so I think it's a case of just, you know, as, as time goes on, become more climatised to the cold, be a lot better. I'm liking the look of this so far. Yeah, these are cooking away nicely. I'm actually uh, quite happy with how well that's heating. I was a bit worried. Mm. I'm not sure if it would um, be able to heat it up as such. Uh, you know what, though? We have got... Uh, because I didn't want to bring any expensive plates or breakable plates. We were in Tesco's and I found these for a pound. <laughs> so we each got a Disney Christmas uh, plate because we, obviously it is November. We've just come off the back end of Halloween. There you go, sir. Thank you very um, much. And next stop will be Christmas. So look yeah, at that. For the festive times. So. Yeah, that's made it a bit worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be fine. We've got the bread on. We've got that steaming away. Oh, smell that man. That wore off into a bush. <laughs> Four cheese chili mix. Oh, I see it Add the tortellinis. Anything at all will be interesting. Uh, I like to keep it different every time. But you can't eat the same thing at the same thing every time, so drop it in the comments down there and give us some suggestions. Looks it's, looking, it's looking damn good, I'm telling you. A lot of flavour in there, look at that. Alright, do you want to pass me a plate? 
Yep, let's go for it. And so let's dish some of this out. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so um, I actually moved the camera over here, but it, I didn't press record, I don't think. Food was unbelievable. I would have given it an 8 out of 10, but then I cracked open um, a Trooper Halloween beer because we're coming off the back of the Halloween. And uh, I moved up to a 9 out of 10. Um, yeah, really good. It was really good. Um, but now, it's what time is it? Uh, it's approaching 6. All right, so it's quarter to six in the morning. Um, it's it's freezing cold. Um, yeah, just gonna wait it out till it starts going light in about two hours. Should be light. I'd say it should be light in about an hour and a half, actually. One degrees. One degrees. It's one degrees. Oh my God. I don't know, why is it saying Turpin Green? What the hell is Turpin Green? What? Oh. <clears throat> yes, but right now, that's the temperature. One degrees. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty, pretty cold. I'm not gonna lie. Josh is messaging me at four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh, he's playing Fortnite. Oh, he got the win. Look at that. Josh got the win on Fortnite. <laughs> this is the rainbow car. This is the abandoned rainbow plane on an island. And it looks sick, bro. So, um, yeah, it's going to get, it's going to start getting a lot colder. So it's going to be interesting to see how we handle the cold. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on, on where you would like to see us camp next, um, feel free to leave them down below. We're going to be doing um, a lot of stealth camping in different areas. Uh, we wanted to do the roundabout first just because <laughs> it was the most ridiculous sounding idea. And I was like, I don't know, just the roundabout. So this is, uh, and it was easy because we're only five minutes from my home address. So, But yeah, if you have any more suggestions, uh, I think we are definitely in the next coming weeks going to be camping in an abandoned uh, air raid shelter mm -hmm. an abandoned quarry yeah and uh, an underground tunnel system wow so but we need to upgrade our equipment first as soon as I've got the new equipment that's when we're going to do the underground stuff I, won't, I don't want to risk doing the underground stuff in this in these no. um, yeah, and if any of you are experienced campers or know, well, you, most people are going to know more than us. We don't know a great deal about camping. Uh, leave me some comments down below with some suggestions on equipment like sleeping bags, tents, and stuff like that. I've been trying to get a sponsor. I've been trying to get a sponsor. I've emailed a few camping companies. Well, Laurie's coming in now. 
since that time. I've emailed a few camping companies to try and get a bit of a sponsorship going, um, but it's, uh, it's it's not not turning out too well at the moment. Well, I only sent them a couple of days ago, so it's early days, but. I mean, that would be the ideal scenario as we get sponsored by a camping company or a company that sells camping equipment. They can just give us new equipment um, when the time is needed. So, fingers crossed that happens. If not, what to make do? Well, it's 10 past 6 in the morning. I'm going to try and get a couple of hours sleep. Um, I'm going to be shattered tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm actually going to be in York um, having like a mini fan meal. Um, I was live on, on YouTube uh, last Saturday and I uh, mentioned that I fancied going around some haunted pubs in York. And I had a few people saying, Oh, we join. I was like, I'll tell you what, right, okay, well. You know, there's just four or five hundred people in the live chat and said, um, you know, who would like to, to go and have a couple of drinks around some haunted bars in York. And there's quite a number of people said, yeah. And then I put it on Instagram. Um, and now we're expected to have maybe 50 or 60 people turn up. So that should be fun. Um, it's going to be interesting anyway. Uh, yeah, if you want to see what happens, go and follow me on Instagram, it's for my fighters. And, uh, I'll be posting on my story anyway. I won't be making a video, but you'll see on my story. Well, I'd definitely say it's lighter now. There's traffic everywhere. It's a very, very busy roundabout. There's non-stop cars going around it now. We're gonna pack up now before we lose all stealth altogether. Um, we've still got a slight bit of cover, only just um, so we'll pack up, get off the roundabout. No doubt we're gonna get seen because it's super busy, like I said. But if we leave it towards eight o'clock, it's gonna get too much. It's, um, it's quarter to seven now. The sun, as you can see, is coming up. Um, yeah, let's get packed up. Oh wait, there is there's quite a bit of litter actually. There's a, a Vimtor cam. Oh, oh I've not seen these in years. There's oh, quite a few yeah. of these around. Well, I will say this has definitely been a lesson learned uh, with temperature. We've been used to camping in the summer in abandoned places. Now that winter is almost setting in, the end of autumn is near, um, we're definitely going to have to take more precautions. Like I said, if you guys know of any equipment we should get, leave me a comment down below. Um, again, not asking for this, but if you do want to help out, there is an Amazon wish list where you can pick up some of the equipment that we do need. And the channel members as well, thank you so much. Again, all these guys here are helping out and supporting these adventures and getting the, the food and equipment we need because without these guys we wouldn't have eaten well uh, like we did last night anyway so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart Flex let's get up to the car with the heated seats there's people walking everywhere and it's just 
Yeah, it's the time. Best I can do. I can't feel my fingers. Yeah, it's time to go over all my oh, hands are numb. Pigs. My hands are numb. Right, let's get out of here. You would never have known we were here. Clean. Right, which way do we go? Uh, where we get This way? Yeah. Right, wait, 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 there's cars. I mean, Remember? we've done it now. Yeah, I know, but stealth. Let me just turn the ISO down on this. Are you ready? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> right, you ready? Yeah. Hold on. Oh. Right, you ready? Just go. Right. Just go. Can happen. About three hours ago, we were stood on this roundabout. Not a single car. Just get out of here. People looking at us. <laughs> well, I think we made it. Yeah. I think we made it. <laughs> Is the car going to be iced up? <laughs> Probably. Frozen solid. Actually, no. Too bad. No, it doesn't. Look at that part right next to it. <laughs> That's where we were. <sighs> Good old roundabout. Okay, well that is the end. Thank you so much if you stuck around and watched to the end. I know this is so different to a lot of the other stuff I've done. I know we've done abandoned camping, we've done haunted camping, and now we're doing proper stealth camping. And that was our first proper stealth camp on a roundabout. It's, uh, it's zero degrees right now. The whole ground is freezing over, it's so cold. It's just gone seven o'clock, the sun is up. Um, as it gets later on in the year, obviously, as we move into December, it's going to take a, it's a lot more darkness. It goes dark about 4 p.m. and it goes light about 8, quarter past 8. So there's going to be a lot more time to film when it comes to December. Please, if you have any other suggestions, let me know down below um, anywhere you'd like to see us camp, equipment that we need to get especially staying warm in the tent. That was the main thing, keeping the tent warm because you saw it frozen over. It was icicles all over the tent, uh, the condensation frozen, so. So we definitely need that. So yeah, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. If you have, think, if you already believe you're subscribed, just double check. I know a lot of people are saying they're not getting notifications when they come to have a look. It's not saying subscribed anymore. So I don't know if YouTube's done a bit of a purge and removed people, but just go on, double check, make sure you subscribe, click that bell, always notify. If you've enjoyed this video at all, hit that like button. You're not really appreciated. And check out my second channel if you're interested in watching some of the videos from the archive, deleted videos, videos that didn't make the cut or just old classics. I upload them all on the second channel which is Exploring Fighters Extra. You can check them all out there. I'm uploading a video every two days on there so plenty to catch up on and plenty of new content. So again, much love to everyone. Uh, thank you so much for sticking around. Um, this is my, it's going to be in January my sixth year on YouTube so to be still doing it after six years yeah it's uh, it's definitely been a feat and uh, not many people can stick around for that long and, and still survive so and it's all down to you guys for being so loyal so love you all